all right guys a new day and a new question let's see what we have here today uh, it says construct s dot n cap plus cat such that when s dot n is uh, operated on this cat s dot n plus we get an eigenvalue h bar y2 and the cat s dot n cap plus back so where n cap is characterized by the angles shown in the figure and express your answer as a linear combination of plus cat and minus cat. So they have given us the answer which is cos beta y2 plus cat plus sin beta y2 exponential to the power i alpha minus cat. Okay, so let's proceed. Firstly, they have given us this figure like this. And they have given the n cap vector over here. And uh, the angles are uh, beta with the z axis, and the projection of n cap makes an angle with the x axis, which is alpha. All right. So, what we have been given first s dot n cap acts with s dot n cap plus state. To give us h bar by 2 s dot n cap plus state so we have to construct s dot n cap uh, plus state so we know that uh, s can be written as sx plus sy plus sz right and we know that sx is nothing but h bar by 2 sigma x sy is h bar by 2 sigma y and sz is h bar by 2 sigma z now we'll uh, take some arbitrary n which we have been given here this is our n and we can break n into its uh, three components right uh, for the x axis for the y axis and for the z axis We'll call, uh, let's break it first. So n is equal to nx plus ny plus nz, right? So for convention, let's just uh, call uh, this x as 1, y as 2, and z as 3. Just for convention. So this is s1, s2, s3, n1, n2, n3. So s dot n cap would be just s1 n1 plus s2 n2 plus s3 n3 okay so s dot n cap now we have to find the individual values of n1 n2 and n3 we can uh, figure that out from the diagram so let's see what we have here so for n cap we'll get the z component as n cap cos beta right and this component would be n cap sine beta now this will have a component over here in the x axis so the x component or n1 would be n cap sine beta cos alpha right and uh, the y component would be just n cap uh, n cap sine beta and sine alpha right so the magnitude of uh, each of them so if you want the magnitude just the magnitude so just the magnitude of n1 would be n cap uh, what was it? It was uh, sine beta cos alpha mod. So we know that the mod of n cap, since it's a unit vector, it has to be 1. So the mod of n1 would just be sine beta cos alpha. So similarly, here this would be just the mod of n1, this would be the mod of n2, and this would be the mod of n3. And uh, this would similarly be the mod of S1, S2, and S3. So let's write the dot product finally. So the dot product would be S dot n cap, which is 
एस वन साइन बीटा कॉस अल्फा प्लस एस टू साइन बीटा साइन अल्फा एंड एस थ्री कॉस बीटा नाउ विल पुट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द स्पिन ऑपरेटर्स हियर सो वील हैव एच बार बाई टू कॉमन एंड वील हैव सिग्मा वन साइन बीटा कॉस एल्फा प्लस सिग्मा टू साइन बीटा साइन एल्फा एंड वील हैव सिग्मा थ्री कॉस बीटा सो फॉर सो गुड एंड नाउ वील राइट इड इन अ मेट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो यू नो दैट सिग्मा वन इज जस्ट जीरो वन वन जीरो सिग्मा टू और सिग्मा वाई इज जस्ट आई टाइम्स जीरो माइनस वन वन जीरो एंड सिग्मा थ्री दैट इज सिग्मा जी इज जस्ट वन जीरो जीरो माइनस वन सो वील पुट दीज वैल्यूज ओवर हियर एंड वील गेट अ मैट्रिक्स एक्सप्रेशन यू मे कैलकुलेट दैट आई विल जस्ट राइट द फाइनल रिजल्ट विच इज एच बार बाई टू कॉस बीटा साइन बीटा टाइम्स कॉस एल्फा माइनस आई साइन एल्फा एंड साइन बीटा कॉस एल्फा प्लस आई साइन एल्फा एंड माइनस कॉस बीटा नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दीज टू एक्सप्रेशन यूजिंग ऑयलर्स फॉर्मूला वी कैन राइट दम इन एन एक्सपोरेंशियल फॉर्म सो वील राइट दिस मेट्रिक्स एस एच बार बाई टू कॉस बीटा साइन बीटा ई टू दी पावर आई माइनस आई एल्फा एंड हियर इट विल बी साइन बीटा ई टू दी पावर आई एल्फा माइनस कॉस बीटा सो दिस इज द मेट्रिक्स दैट वी आर गेटिंग एट द एंड एंड सो दिस इज द ऑपरेटर एस डॉट एन कैप राइट सो फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस फ्रॉम वॉट वी हैव बीन गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन एस डॉट एन कैप acts on this get s dot n cap plus and gives us a result h bar by 2 s dot n cap plus so we can just treat it as a eigen value problem as stated in the question so let's uh, since we have the eigen value here this is our lambda so we can find the eigen vector s dot n cap plus using this eigen value so let's assume that s dot n cap to be some vector a1 and a2 right then we can write this h bar cos beta h bar by 2 cos beta sin beta exponential i minus i alpha sin beta exponential i alpha and minus cos beta times this vector a1 a2 which is equal to h bar by 2 a1 a2 so h bar by 2 cancels on both sides so we'll have cos beta sin beta exponential minus i alpha sin beta exponential i alpha minus cos beta Times a1 a2 is equal to a1 a2. Now we'll multiply multiply these two matrices, so we'll get this result, which is let's multiply them. So we get cos a1 cos beta plus a2 e to the power minus i alpha sine beta and minus cos beta. Oops. Wait a minute. Okay, so let's drop this part, and we get cos beta times a two plus a one sine beta e to the power i alpha is equal to a one a two. So as you can see, we'll get two equations from here. That is, it, the equations. 
we get our one would be a1 cos beta plus a2 sin beta e to the power minus i alpha is equal to a1 and we'll get minus a2 cos beta plus a1 sin beta e to the power i alpha is equal to a2 all right so since we're getting two equations here we'll use uh, one of these equations to write a2 in terms of a1 say let's use this equation here so we'll use it like a1 we'll get a1 sine beta exponential to the power i alpha is equal to a2 1 plus cos beta right which we can further write it as a2 is equal to sine beta exponential i alpha by 1 plus cos beta so this is one result which we'll keep you know what this square looks bad so we'll just i'll just square it like this yeah this looks cool so this is the result that we'll be using further now we had the eigenvector s dot n cap comma plus which we assume to be a1 a2 right so these two elements would uh, these two elements a1 and a2 they will follow this equation a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1 because this is a normalized eigenvector you can also see that in this equation which we wrote previously this equation here here we are getting the eigenvalue as 1 so this vector must be normalized for this operator here so we can write this equation that is my whole point now we'll plug in the value of a2 oh there's a mistake here here will be an a1 here so we'll write uh, like we'll plug in the value of a2 in this equation and we'll try to find the value of a1 so a1 square plus sine square beta and here it's exponential i alpha so it's a conjugate squared right so there will be an exponential i alpha and there will be an exponential minus i alpha which would just become one so i'm not writing that and i'll get one plus cos beta whole squared and a1 squared equal one so a1 squared 1 plus 2 cos beta plus cos square beta plus sine square beta by 1 plus cos beta squared is equal to 1 and further if we take it over that side we'll get a1 squared is equal to 1 plus cos beta whole squared this quantity will just become 1 and there will be 1 plus 1 2 so it will be 2 1 plus cos beta this square would cancel with this term and we'll have a1 squared is equal to 1 plus cos beta by 2 which we can write that a1 is equal to under root 1 plus cos beta oops I keep pressing this button that's a nuisance I'm sorry about that so it will be 1 plus cos beta by 2 so this is the value of a1 mod a1 mostly so uh, from here uh, we can calculate the value of a2 so a2 will just be sine beta the previous relation that we got sine beta e to the power i alpha cos beta plus 1 under root 1 plus cos beta by 2 so if we take this cos beta inside and the sine beta inside we will get a2 is equal to 
e to the power i alpha under root sine square beta by 2 cos beta plus 1. Now this sine square beta I can write it as 1 minus cos square beta which can be further written as cos beta plus 1 times 1 minus cos beta. So this term will cancel with this term and we'll get a2 equal to e to the power i alpha under root 1 minus cos beta by 2. Right. Okay. So this vector that we had taken previously s dot n cap plus which we were asked to construct we had assumed it to be a1 a2 and they have also uh, told in the question to express it and as a linear combination of plus and minus so plus we can write it as 1 comma 0 and the minus cat we can write it as 0 comma 1 0 1 so this can be broken into a linear combination which looks like a1 plus plus a2 minus right now we'll just put the values of a1 and a2 which will be under root 1 plus cos beta by 2 plus and here it will be e to the power i alpha under root 1 minus cos beta by 2 minus now uh, if you know a bit of trigonometry you'll know that 1 plus cos beta can be written as 2 cos square beta by 2 and 1 minus cos beta can be written as 2 sine square beta by 2 right so we'll just plug in these values over here and the final result that we'll get is s dot n cap plus vector would look something like cos beta by 2 plus oh did I write the exponential here yeah I did cos beta by 2 plus sine beta by 2 exponential i alpha minus cat so this would how our uh, cat s dot n plus would look like so that's what they have asked in the question so that was all in this question all right yeah that was all uh, also a little bit of uh, saying here if you guys like the content that i'm making and if it's helpful for you please consider subscribing to my channel it's a small channel and it can only grow with the support of few people so if you like the content that i make and if it's helpful please uh, consider subscribing to my channel that would all uh, that would be all for today See you in the next video. Bye.